Hey Drew, think I can get you to help me out with something? Yeah, sure, what's up? So you know how my parents opened a small restaurant last year? No, what? I didn't know that. Drew, I talk about it all the time. This chamomile tea is so good. That's chamomile tea? I love chamomile tea. I'm drinking whiskey. What? Kidding! I'm drinking um, oolong. Okay, guys, guess what? My family's opening up an Italian restaurant. Oh wow, that's awesome! Congratulations. That's amazing. Great. Thank you, guys. <laughs> anyway, it's their one-year anniversary coming up, so I want to give them something special to commemorate the occasion. Thinking maybe a commemorative plate, something restaurant-related, you know? Mm. Yeah, definitely. Go ahead and send me the, the logo of the restaurant and I'll see what I can do for it. My friend Brianna just asked me to make her a commemorative plate for her parents' restaurant that just hit their one year anniversary. So, I'm gonna help her out with that. Thinking about that restaurant and all that good food is making my stomach grumble. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. But enough about me. That means I could teach you how to make a commemorative plate using permanent adhesive vinyl. Remember to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest content. All right, good, now that you smashed that like button, I can show you what materials I'm gonna use for this project. Follow me. All right, so, we have our, our vinyl, our transfer paper, our weeding tool, our squeegee, our rubbing alcohol, our Recoma RCP 6301 25-inch vinyl cutter. Bam! We have our plate. And now, we can go into our Sign Master program. We're gonna go over to New Document. We're gonna go to File, Import. And we're gonna import it as an editable file. An editable file is a file with customization in mind. That way you can tailor it to your needs. So we're gonna do the one year anniversary first. Left click and drag over the design. We're gonna go to our Apple icon, create cut contour, and we're gonna keep holes so that it recognizes the letters that have holes in them. We're gonna select accept. All right, let's go ahead and grab our first vinyl and load it onto our machine. And don't forget to lock it. And now let's adjust our settings. We're going to set the cutting force to 250 and we're going to set the speed to 400. And our blade should be at level 4. All right, we're good to go. Our settings are adjusted. Let's go ahead and go back to our software. We're going to go over to our cut icon and here we're going to make sure that mirror is unchecked because we're not working with heat transfer vinyl. We're working with regular adhesive. So now we're going to do area test. I'm going to click yes. This will tell my cutter to trace my design so that my vinyl never comes off at any point. Now all that's left to do is to cut my design. So I'm going to go ahead and select cut now. All right, let's go ahead and do our next two designs. Now, we're gonna select our second design. Now, left click and drag over the bistro sign. We're gonna select our Apple icon, create a contour. And same thing here, we're gonna select keep holes, accept. And we're gonna move over to our cut icon. Once again, make sure that mirror is unselected. And we're gonna click on area test. And once our area test looks good, we're going to go ahead and select cut now. need the final design. Left click and drag over the sign. Click on the Apple icon, create cut contour. We're going to select keep holes, accept. Go to our cut icon once again. Make sure that mirror is unselected. And we're going to select area test. Right, and 
and then cut now. All right, now that I have all my designs cut, let's go ahead and weed them out. Be very careful when weeding out adhesive vinyl. That way you avoid damaging the main design. Now that we've got our designs weeded out, we're gonna go ahead and transfer them using our transfer paper. When placing your transfer tape onto your adhesive vinyl, be sure to go edge to edge so that you avoid any bubbles that are rising up. All right, so before we put any vinyl onto our plate, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some alcohol wipes and we're gonna clean the surface. While I'm placing my gold design on my plate, I'm using my squeegee so that I can catch the corners onto the plate. Just remember, once you are placing adhesive vinyl onto your plate, make sure it's completely aligned because once it falls onto the plate, you're committed. And with that, our commemorative plate is done. It looks magnificent. Man, something smells good. It's baked spaghetti. Oh, it sounds incredible. You have no idea. So, how'd the plate turn out? Well, you tell me. <gasps> Oh my gosh, my parents are gonna love this. You could totally start selling these. Maybe I could. I mean, the plate was $3. The printing supplies was about $2. So we're in for about five total. The plate though, you could sell it online for about $38. So that's about a profit margin of 87%. Wow. Or, can you give me a plate of spaghetti? There's no way you're getting some of this spaghetti. What do you mean? Why not? No, what? I didn't know that. Really though? I mean, I'm just kidding, but you do have to make a reservation. Well, in that case, I'd like to reserve this chair right here. That's a good one. Okay, but first, get everybody else because I have a bunch for everybody. Oh, cool. Oh, gosh. oh man, this smells so good. good. I'm hey, so guys. ready. Oh, my God. Woo. Let's do this. I'm so hungry. Yes. Let's do this. Right. So. Okay, guys, dig in. All right. Yes. All right. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Remember, if you like this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you can stay up to date with our latest content. Also, don't forget to follow us on Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery on Facebook where we share helpful tips daily. Not to mention, there are over 35,000 members in there that can help you as well. We're also active on Instagram where we share tips, stories, and mini how-to tutorials for everything embroidery and printing related. Also, if there's any other ideas you'd like to see in a future episode of Print Pros, then be sure to leave it in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.